Good Friday morning, everyone. I'm Lynn Bowie. It is 8:55, and we're talking about dangerous heat. Meg. Yes, indeed. So temperatures in the upper 90s. However, thanks to all the humidity, this 99 is really going to feel very close to 110 degrees tonight. Will cool down into the upper 70s. It does not. Stop here. Our seven day forecast shows us triple digit temperatures in store over the weekend. So we have an excessive heat warning that starts today at 11 o'clock. Lynn? Our team coverage of this dangerous heat wave continues. Kimberly Eaton is at the Inner Harbor with the WJZ Mobile Weather Lab and the warning for Marylanders. Well, here in the Inner Harbor this morning, it is hot and it is only getting hotter. Well, most of Maryland is warming up. Experts say Baltimore City is a heat island, so it is particularly susceptible to these rising temperatures. And here we know the code red heat warning has already been extended to Monday. We do have resources and a list of cooling centers on our website at WJZ.com. Reporting in the Inner Harbor, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. And if you're just about to head out on your Friday morning commute, still looking at a couple of issues that could slow you down, two of which are on 83. One of them is on Fayette at 83, the JFX, and then over on Padonia Road at uh, 83 Beaver Dam Road, we have a crash there. On the west side of the Beltway, 35 is the latest average between 795 and Edmondson. Top side doing a little bit better, running at 37 miles per hour. That's a look at that delay, and here's a look at the west side. Lynn? Stay with WJZ. We'll have much more news and weather at noon, but you can get more online anytime when you visit us at WJZ.com. Stay safe, stay cool.